the EMS 550 electron microscopy science sputter coder. This is the target holder or cathode. Is to be mounted on the top lid. This ring is a magnet, and this electrode goes right there. And secure it using the set screws. Make sure the target won't fall down or it is loose and it is not loose. This is the sample holder. The samples could be seven samples can be placed in it or even more. And the sample holder can be adjusted so that the separation between the target and the sample holder top is according to the sample thickness. I'm installing the shield that prevents any material getting sub stop sputtered onto the base plate. Clean the L gaskets on the cylindrical bell jar and place it right concentric to the base plate and close the lid. The system works with 110 volts power supply and there's the outlet. To turn on the pump, the pump power it goes from the machine and the system requires organ gas and once the system is ready, turn on the power. The front panel controls include the deposition current control and the timer to adjust the time from 0 to 4 minutes. This switch is the vent or purge switch. Whenever this button is pressed, a purge of gas, organ gas, will be blasted into the chamber. And this is starting the pump. In case we need to pump it down for an extra long time, press the holding button inhibit button so that the pumping down will continue for an extended period of time to reach a base pressure. This is to be used when the samples uh, are suspected to be outgassing for a long time. The organ gas inlet pressure should be about 4 psi. It should not be too high because it, when it purges, the lid may bump around against the bell jaw and cause damage to the bell jaw. The system sequence operates with one push button. Once you press the pump button, the sequence starts. And it will start with pumping down the chamber down to 7 into 10 to the minus 2 millibar, which is about 50 millibar pressure. 
and at the end when it reaches 7 into 10 to the minus 2 millibar it will purge first 15 seconds and will start to bleed it after a minute once the chamber pressure settles down at 1 into 10 to the minus 1 millibar the system will start turn on the coating and we should see some purple glow in the chain. Now it's the bleeding time. So right now the pressure, the gas is filling up into the chamber, same time the pumping is going on. And once all the gas inside the chamber is organ, the pressure is stable, the coating will start. can adjust the time whatever is desired I'm setting up about a minute and right there now the plasma you can see and the current is about 20 milliamps we can set it to whatever is the desired current to match the thickness rate or the deposition rate Then the purge valve will open and the chamber will be vented. That is ready to replace the sample. And start the next cycle. To start the next cycle, press the pump down button again. <laughs> 